everyone and welcome to the news in two. And this is the weirdest news shit I've seen all week. Everything from Elon Musk limiting your time on Twitter, I'm a fucking addict to Pink getting ashes thrown on her stage. Now, more importantly, a lot of beer has been wasted. I repeat, a lot of beer has been wasted. Now, the sea's been turned red on the island of Okinawa after a beer factory leak. Can you believe it? I will be suing or taking my straw, either and or. Philippines, however, are in outrage as they used to advertise the country wouldn't even from their country. Can you fucking believe it? I can. And also on the news too, a woman going to Aldi has found a snake hiding in her broccoli. She was not very happy and decided to return it. However, the snake is now living there. It has taken over the shelf and anyone who wants food has to speak to it directly. I'm a snake. Into more breaking news. This is cray cray. This is absolutely cray cray nay name. Elon Musk, king of Tesla, and Mark Zuckerberg, the alien from outer space, have decided to have a cage fight. Now, this is not confirmed or denied. However, I have read it a numerous times so it must be true not only on Twitter but also on Sky News BBC News fucking everything that ends in news I've seen it ah. man fakes his own death and then turns into a pickle baby no I read this and I thought that's what he actually did but he didn't I'm pickle red then turns up at the funeral in a helicopter. This was the biggest prank of the century. It was hilarious, except for the people who thought he was dead for two weeks. That kind of sucks ass. They still liked him, which was kind of nice, but this has got to go down as the worst prank or the best prank. Also, another story that's kind of bloody hilarious. Conor McGregor got in a fight. He's, uh, you know, clearly missing the ring with a Miami Heat mascot. He nutted that guy with his fist, sent him to fucking space, and now he has to go to hospital. Call an ambulance! But not for me. Now, I can't tell if this is real or fake or Conor McGregor's just itching to get back into the field. But look, we don't give a fuck because Conor McGregor is king. He's the guy we all aspire to be. Hashtag free McGregor. Also, Putin. What's going on with him? I don't really know, to be honest. That's not really anything I deal with. But there is your news in two. I hope you learned something exciting interesting and if you didn't don't worry neither did i but let's not forget this shit the world is a scary place and you're lucky to be here you're lucky to be listening to this video and not featuring in it see ya